It's time from LA, thankfully, finally from LA. And this is game two of the Amateur to the Two League Season 7. North Armbreaker Heroic Lever. Squad 6 versus Diving in the Deep. Diving in the Deep took game one. And now we're back here again with for game two. Go straight into the back. bat and pick face. Radiant Team Ban. Ten seconds remaining. Very, very quickly, Squad Six has ban up the Vengeful Spirit, remaining. which has been a real pain to them the last game. Sniper now being banned out by diving Dire the deep themselves. Ban. After they did a really good game with them, I guess it's because Squad 6 has first pick. So... You can see Squad 6 has up for first pick and Diving the Deep has won against up for Radiant. Troll Warlock will be banned as the second ban. Probably a little bit like me. I have significantly higher win rate on the Radiant side. I believe the last time I checked total buff. My win rate on Radiant is like 55% and my loss rate, and my win rate on Dire is like 47 <laughs> It's a real big difference, but Lina will be picked up as a first pick and Viper immediately a reactive pick towards the Lina. Any magic damage base hero, does, intelligent hero does not work do well against a Viper in the middle lane because of Viper's magic resistance on the corrosive skin and of course most magic base heroes have pretty low HP um, Viper's poison poison does a lot of damage over time for a INT hero um, corrosive skin does 25 I believe at max level yeah it does 25 damage Ten seconds remaining. and then it slows the movement speed by 25 it slows Five your attack by 25 remaining. which probably isn't a big deal but the movement slow is a big deal the magic resistance 25% of damage 25% I think it lasts us for 4 seconds yes so every time you hit him you take 100 magical Dire damage yourself bad. that's not exactly something very nice to deal with but we do have an engine operation picked up really really early by squad 6 I guess it works pretty well against a Viper anyways. Omni Knight will be banned out by diving in the deep as Squad 6 will ban out Slock. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time! Radiant Team Ban! Queen of Pain! Dire Team Ban! I just pick. heard a Queen of Pain being picked up. Sorry, just fixing up some things. A Queen of Pain will be picked up by Ten diving in the deep. So this is interesting. Looks like Viper will not be going mid as I have thought. Drawing and Clockwork will also be banned now by Squad 6 and diving in the deep respectively. Uh, Brister back will has been picked up by Squad 6. So that's likely the... It's hard to say. You can go on the safe lane and the or the hard lane either way it works pretty well um viper uh, with cream of pain being picked up um we will likely see the viper going on the safe lane now ten seconds remaining 
Five seconds remaining. I see the final pick, actually the fourth pick, not the final pick, the fourth pick will be a Rubik. So two pick. supports are out. Probably like an off lane though. I think I would say the Viper isn't bad on the off lane. You could probably send him to the off lane too. It probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Probably. Ten seconds remaining. Drawinger has been consistently Five banned out by Squad remaining. Six, and so is Clockwork also consistently banned out by diving in the deep. Um, Reserve time. Quite interesting, honestly. But I guess Squad Six has a much more versatile lane this uh, laning phase this time with a Brewster back and a Lina. That's more flexibility and less makes the lineup more less predictable. I did felt they didn't have a very good offlaner in the last game. They put the Klings offlane, which turned out pretty well actually. It's just that I felt they could have been a better way to lane it. They will pick up a Legion Commander. Which is interesting because Legion Commander is actually a... Um, a very, very weak hero right now, I personally think. After the recent buffs to all the other heroes, this is interesting. Dire Bloodseeker will be picked up as the final hero for diving in the deeps. So, well, it doesn't exactly answer our question because Viper and Bloodseeker are both very capable heroes to go both the safe and the off lane. This disruptor has been picked up, so it looks like Lina will not be a support. Lina will be going mid, and we will have Legion Commander likely farming the safe lane along with Brista, uh, along with Ancient Apparition and Disruptor as a support, and Brista back going on to the bottom lane. Prepare for battle. <laughs> Both teams picking up smokes immediately. Um, do have a finer pick of a blood seeker so I'm not too sure who's going on the off lane right now oh. looks like we might be having what we had last game they will be aggressive tri lane on the top lane with a viper and two supports um, the queen of pain will be going on the safe lane solo and the bloodseeker will be going on the middle lane solo this is really interesting I'm, I'm mm, very interesting <laughs> mm. I guess they could do the same but looks like they're not they're not gonna take a risk they're just gonna play it safe they're gonna try lane defensive try lane I assume the legion commander protect your legion commander at all costs kind of defensive try lane and then the Brewster back on the off lane and the Lina on the safe on the middle lane a very conservative and safe decision I guess when you try to offensive try lane the off lane you have to win the try lane otherwise it's just going to be a very very pointless game We have here and first very blood. early aggression paying off actually. First blood going the way of Marb. The red mist closes in. Not a good start for S6. No one gets a last hit yet, which is interesting. Lina gets, and Lina and Bristerback gets the first last hit. I immediately deny coming up on the ward here to... Yeah, this shows how aggressive they want to be. We immediately drop a sentry to deny this defensive observer ward up here. 
and the Rubik's. I'm surprised though that they pick a Rubik. Uh, of course, there is a Lina and an AA ultimate to steal, so it's pretty some pretty good ultimates to steal. So the Rubik does make a little bit of sense, but if they were going for an aggressive tri lane, usually people don't do it with a Rubik. Rubik, um, similar to heroes like Enigma and I wouldn't say Omnite as much. They don't contribute that much. Um, looks like an aggressive trailer. Brisa back will be TPing up top, man. Um, what is he doing? <laughs> this is interesting though, but they're switching it to a Dabra lane instead. The Legion commander has come bottom. And the Brister backs now chasing down the Rubik. Just dealing as much damage, but he is being zoned out. Disruptor now getting really really low, but he is being zoned out. So they will switch back to a 2-1-2. The Lina continues to dominate the middle lane. Um, I guess as expected until the Bloodseeker starts getting more lever. Just what the doctor ordered. Haste. They're doing some really good lane con rune control right there. They prevented the Lina from getting her two minute rune, so. Bottom is that was missing. important to to ensure that the Lina could, could, does not continue to zone the Bloodseeker out. But we do have an aggression up top. Zeus, uh, not Zeus, sorry. Rubik will be able to leave him up and the Disruptor will go down this time. And another kill for the Viper. Brister back now doing a lot of spray so the supports won't be able to chase this Killing down. He's trying to get a hit onto him and one more spray. He does have a large amount of stacks so the Viper gets a double kill. He now has three kills very very well fed actually. He now has a lot of gold. Definitely top of the top. Yes, a thousand gold ahead actually. 800. Not a thousand but very very high. And the bottom double lane isn't working as well as intended the legion commander isn't getting as much farm as she wished and the AA can't really put enough pressure on the can't really put enough pressure on the queen of pain to actually zone her out she's actually doing really really well Surprisingly, the Lina is actually un, um, slightly behind on experience, probably by about a wave of creep, maybe. No, about just about 100 experience, actually. Um, yeah, I think it's probably just one creep. Yeah, she, she just caught up. And this might be... Okay, that that's just the end of the call up. It looks like he will be going down right now. Nothing to bounce against her. So a lot of stun coming out. The stun does connect, so that would be pretty good. She Queen of Pain now TP and rotates into. She needs to rotate, and she does get a tango in, but the heal will ensure that she the Queen of Pain stays alive, just to make sure she doesn't get enough mana. Really probably just trying to stay alive long enough for Laguna Blade to get a kill right there. A rotation coming in slightly too slow. Bloodseeker does get a kill. Uh, does give away the kill. He's under attack. But that, in fact, helps the Le Legion get a little bit of free farm. I think it really depends on how much Arena wins she gets. Queen of Pain is now rotating back to the bottom. Um, the hill rotation has allowed the Legion to cash up on farm, not really on levels.
Uh, probably not actually getting another kill. This I'm probably using an ultimate. Yes, it does use the Laguna Blade to get a kill on the on Bloodsicle. And she will rotate the to pick up a double attack. damage Rubik and the Witch Doctor rotating down. Um, not getting in range for a kill. Looks like Queen of Pain and the two supports are interested to get a pick off on Lina, who has backed off really, really deep. They do realize, but it looks like she will run into the two supports and the stun will connect. Will be get burst down really, really low. He does manage to be brought down. My fever breaks. Um, <laughs> arri arriving a little bit late for the gleams, but. At least Lina did get a return kill instead of just giving away one and she did manage to get a kill first so it prevents Rubik from getting the experience. It's better than not getting anything I guess. Though I probably think you do not want to be giving the kill away to the Queen of Pain. Which she did. It's not exactly something we did not control but you don't want to be giving kills away to the Queen of Pain. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. And I believe she's set 6 right now, she does have her ultimate. Um, Legion is not 6 yet. Mass rotation actually coming in, Bloodseeker probably trying to catch back up. Bloodseeker has a 6 right now, they could probably just go in for a kill. With Rupture on the Lina, she's dead for sure. And it looks like the Queen of Pain is going to engage on her alone. And up, I'm not sure where her backup was, but <laughs> she actually manages to get a full kill. Stun Dragon Slave and a Laguna Blade secures the kill on the Queen of Pain. Now Bristleback being burst down very, very slowly by the Viper. A little bit too slow right there from the support coming out from King Dave and he will go down again. I'm not sure whether he's lagging or not. The first game we saw him on the Ogre Mage, I believe he was. He seems to have some delayed reaction too. Maybe he's probably lagging or something, I'm not too sure. I mean the earlier an earlier glimpse or kinetic feel would have probably saved the Brewster back and um, definitely himself at least. Viper is now really really big actually. Pretty close to the Mega. Queen of Pink gets a solo kill on the Ancient Apparition I at the bottom but... Bloody murder. Laguna Blade is 15 seconds off cooldown and looks like she wants to... Um, nope, not gonna try to die for the Legion Commander. So Lina will now leave the Legion Commander to have some farm. <coughs> It's now very very hard to dive on Marb. He is very well fed now. So I think he could probably take a full static storm and still be very healthy. We have the bottom here. doesn't seem to care about the rupture she's just running around with it Unstoppable! <laughs> Bristol back going down top and Queen of Pain will dive the tower for Dave and Glimpse will be used but I don't uh, uh, I'm not exactly sure attack. what his plan was Killing using the Glimpse right there but behind their fortifications. Much like Cornwood before Axe's axe, some, Dyer's top tower I don't know, I mean you Queen, Queen of Pain came from the back. She dived Dyer's you under the tower, tower you glimpse her back attack. to the back of her tower, well, what are you gonna do? You don't exactly have a static storm to drop. Radiant cares to heap upon it. So she has a six now, she does probably combos with the cold feet pretty Dyer's well but Rubik is now coming in Rupture being used on her on the Legion commander and looks like the ultimate challenge will drop down um, and Queen of Pain will come and finish it up so the but Lina comes in with double damage secures a kill on the Queen of Pain not interested to pursue you will get a double kill or uh, by securing a kill on the witch doctor it looks like maybe even triple kill now and Lina will get a triple kill. Very, very close. Actually, already completed a Elo Scepter and probably tried to work to a. I got him Scepter right now. This. Uh, at least Lina has some positive light. 
for the S6. I think they need to work for her Gundam Scepter as quickly as possible to deal with the Viper. 700, 900 actually, my mistake, sorry. 900 pure damage is a very big deal on the Viper. Mass TP coming in right now, they do have a Static Storm to fight this actually. Uh, more TP is coming in and Ultimate drop down, the kill to sec needs to secure this kill on the Lina. I'm not, not oh, what, what's going on right now. Um, she does have an Eel Scepter but she will turn around and does not dodge the A. <laughs> I'm, honestly, I'm not sure what the Disruptor is doing, he seems so blur. Maybe, maybe he's having sleep depression or something. <laughs> um, but. I don't know, I felt like the Disruptor was pretty blur. He should have dropped this Static Storm when he saw the TPs coming in and then just back Toya's away. Bottom tower is under attack. Anyway, that was two deaths going away for Nelling and just when you start thinking it's getting Radiant's better for Season 6, Lina loses her streak, I believe she loses her goal. Oh, she actually got a point booster. And Rubik actually getting low, so Radiant's I don't think he was Shatter on and something attack. else connects. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Invisibility. If you give away a damage to Bloodseeker, I think yes, Bloodseeker has a that is for certain. 10 increase, and that was a very interesting kill right there. Queen of Pain jumped in to finish the kill. And they managed to get the kill and looks like the Shopter is gonna walk right into this again. Um, already having a bad day I guess, but this is really not his fault, but <laughs> Bloodseeker will be the one that claims the kill on that. Rupture is still available, so AA would really want to be very careful. Surprisingly, the Rubik is still level 5, even with all that amount of kills and damage. Crystal back now, invisibility wearing Dyer's off his force back and away. Um, I don't particularly believe this is the best scenario for him to be in, and the Rubik, um, one more hit might see him die, but looks like he will stay alive right there. And ultimate just kind of blade mail on the Queen of Pain manages to keep her alive. And the Bristleback will go down to the Bloodseeker and Viper will pick up a monster kill streak killing bringing down the Lina. And now we do have Disruptor caught out of position again. And looks like the Bloodseeker would likely just finish him off. Oh my god. I'm not sure. Uh, uh. <laughs> he is having a bad day. Let's just accept it and move on, I guess. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Static Storm does have a pretty quick cooldown, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. Um, Viper now really, really big. Oh, um, about a thousand gold away from his attack. sector, which is something Lina wanted. And that's really bad. The ultimate will ensure that she gives a damage, she gets the extra 10 damage this time, bringing down the. I'm not sure, I think they brought down the Rubik, but it wasn't her that bring it down. She got the kill and she got the arena damage anyway. Queen of Pain now re engaging, I think she bought back actually. And looks like she will dive all the way for the. For the disruptor, the ultimate also being used. Very interesting. I assume that Queen of Pain realized she is the the targeted hero that Lina would want to pick off instead of the Viper. So she picks up the blade mail instead. So every time Lina uses Laguna Blade on her, she essentially kills herself. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. The red mist spreads at Radiant's middle tower. Smoke now being used by Lina. So 
Mickey Mouse. Alright, I got it back. Um, I assume they're not gonna be interested in defend the T1. Much like cordwood before axes axe. S6 now needs a stick. Dyer's top tower is in one of them. They need now a big mistake from DID for S6 to cash back up. Man, it looks like Queen of Pain is ready to pounce on anyone that overextends Dyer's on this top T2. Tower is under attack. And it looks like Hero pounce on the Bristol back this time, tower. she's just running for the fun of it. And Dyer's I think he's gonna go down anyway. And he will go Radiance down. Static Storm attack. coming out. Dyer's top tower is under attack! Not in a valid position to really defend that anyway. Much like Cordwood and it will take a T2 it looks like we will be going high it. ground all five heroes as you can see the ID doing again very well I think they they, they they farm they win the lanes and then they start grouping up even if you don't win the lane you have the hero that lost the lane um, I think Bloodseeker actually lost his lane I could you could say that and <coughs> Queen of Pain didn't do exactly well she, she was sort of like a draw in the lane and Viper and the tr aggressive tri lane won their lane and once you reach a 10 minutes everyone gets a little bit of levels I know they start entering this 5 man board pushing as 5 engaging as 5 staying as 5 and now Bloodseeker just going really really crazy right now got like straight for um, Mar Marb and it will get um we're gonna go like straight right there. Ultimate jumps in, uh, challenges the Queen of Pain, gets the victory but goes down anyway. Actually, who got the victory? Okay, she did get the victory, thankfully. And it looks like Marb will get another kill right there. Triple kill going the way of the Viper buyback and Disruptor goes down again. Uh, maybe able to co feed him right here. Oh, no, he just managed to get away from that actually. Um, 20 seconds away from his challenge but this, she should probably be dead the buyback does pay back with a kill on the bloodseeker but I don't think that's exactly what they're looking for they're probably looking for something a little bit more <coughs> I'll take that radiance bottom tower is under attack they managed to defend the T3, I think that's what important. And they brought the T3 down by 800 health, exactly half. It's pretty interesting. I think the last thing you want to do now is to give away a kill after your buyback. She's not working or aiming even for a scepter. So she picks up an Ultima though, maybe working towards a Hex or a Scotty just to build the tankiness in general. And Rubik has an Arcane Boots, she's level 9 right now, nothing much beyond that. Wish Doctor working towards an Scepter 2. And Bloodseeker has Offering and probably working towards a Blade Mail 2. Ina um, got a little bit closer to a Scepter, that's about it. Challenge on Kraton and she will get a very quick kill with the Laguna Blade but they might pay with their life and yes they will do a pretty very good Static Storm actually this time trapping the Viper and but the Bloodseeker manages to get out Gleams being used he does manage to stay alive I don't think so the ultimate connects him and he will go down got like streak once again Radiant's top tower is under attack Dyer's middle tower is not and what it used this to be. may be two Dyer's lanes of Rax actually. Wait, there's no creep. Why isn't there back of protection? Middle tower is under attack. I'm confused. <laughs> Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Yeah, yeah Ultimate Dyer's will connect with all four. I would say actually Reaper has been playing a pretty good game. I believe he was on the engine operation too. The last game he is doing pretty 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 well. He thinks his ultimate's Dyer's connecting them at very essential heroes super, striking most of the fight. Bristol is now being slowed down. Like you can't even imagine. 
and the Rapture will be used on the Brewster back to and Ultimate is used and Queen of Pain is being is able to be burst down this time and he's trying to man fight this but the Legion Commander cannot fight the two cores and that's 4 down and that's a lane of Rex for sure they can likely rotate top and get another lane of Rex too Dyer's middle barracks have fallen. And, but looks like they're not interested. They're gonna back off even though most of the heroes are sidelined for about 40, 30 to 40 seconds. They're gonna back off anyway. They're not gonna risk anything. They have the game in hand. They don't need to risk anything. They could take this slow. They don't need to pressure much. They will take Roshan. I'm interested to see whether they'll give it to the Viper or maybe the Queen of Pain who is being the sole target of Laguna Blade right now. She's being burst down very very often and I guess you could leave it to her but no, the Viper will be the one to pick it up. Even though the Viper is almost unstoppable right now, he cannot be killed. Well, there's two ways to look at it. You either give it to your strongest hero who can come back and still team wipe the opponent or you give it to the hero that dies a lot. Uh, very nice static storm this time on can I get a tree and the rest just walks in, they don't care. I will go for the top tower this time. No, oh, no, actually, it's the it's the Legion TP in top. Finally, they're backing off. They got two. They got two kills, but they're backing off. I think it's because the Viper does not have enough mana. That's very likely why he's working towards a casual Yasha right now. Probably turning that into a mental style. He actually does pick up a... I was just about to say he probably would not get a Sengen Yasha but he does get a Sengen Yasha. Uh, interesting. I guess it builds his attack speed, his movement speed, it gives him hit points which is essential to the concept of Viper itself. Provides even more slow as if he er doesn't already have enough. Dyer's bottom tower is but I think this is a very moves. very huge lead. Yes, it is. It is a 15,000 gold lead and about 15,000 experience lead as well. And we Dyer's get another tower. tower. This time going the way of the Queen of Pain. Tower has fallen. And Rapture this time, use on the Brewster back again just to force him to run away and he will be trapped the AS Ultimate connects on the Bloodseeker and Ultimate drop down on the Lina. No so he's being dropped back down and he is opening on his blade mail right now and Brewster back caught out of position, brought down. Laguna Blade drop on the Rubik, but she will go down immediately, but Ruby will be brought down by the Frostbite. Not Frostbite, sorry, Frostbite is Crystal Maiden for the cold feet. Um, the challenge on the Witch Doctor gave him 14 damage, so they are trying to get the kill on Dyer's bottom tower is the, a, a, the only wolves. hero left alive right now, but they will not get it. And it looks like they will clean this tower. Found the weakness in Dyer's bottom like many a barrack before. And Gigi will Dyer's be called by Season 6. DID diving into Z will take two games of the set, the and they are now 4 0, probably on top of the lead or sharing the top spot with someone in the league. So, thank you very much for watching. This is Amateur to the 2 League, North American Heroic Lever. See you next week with whatever game we get. Thank you. Goodbye.